such a nice day out. It's like a 60 degrees in February in Michigan. And if you live in Michigan or you know Michigan, it should be like snow, lots of snow. And I don't know why it's so warm, but it's amazing. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name's Becca. If you're new here, and welcome to today's video. And today's video is all gonna be about my February favorites. I have some new favorites that I wanted to share with you guys. But first, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's that red button right down there that says subscribe. When you hit it, you will get notified when I upload a new video. If you have any video requests or something that you want me to do, then just leave a comment down below. And don't forget to follow me on all of my social media. Uh, links are always down below. I also have coupon codes down there. I have things. Just go check it out and let's just kick right into the video. So I'm really excited because most of this is new and I feel like I've talked about one or two things on this channel before but majority of it is new which is so so exciting and so yeah all of its makeup except from one item so I'm just gonna get that out of the way and it's actually these headphones that's what I'm gonna start with. So these are really really nice headphones. I can actually talk there is a little mic and where you can pause and play your music right in the middle right here. It's really nice because they have this rubber end that goes into your ears. I think they're so much more comfortable than the ones that like Apple gives you. These are just super nice. I love that it's mesh um, along the wire here and it's super long which is also super awesome. These are what I'm taking on my trip to Florida. I only have one skin thing to mention is the Vanity Planet um, facial brush and I've definitely talked about this before like I said so I'm not gonna count so I'm not gonna touch on it too much here. It's really really soft bristles. It's so much better than the Clarisonic. Much more affordable than the Clarisonic and the Clarisonic actually kind of broke me out even more and this is again just super soft. There are Two speeds that you can choose from and it comes with an exfoliating brush which is also really soft and this is definitely geared the specific brush and um, bristles are geared for people with more sensitive skin which is hello me um yeah so the link is down below for that and going towards fragrance now I have talked about this on my channel as well in one of my very first videos I believe um, so this is called Honey by Marc Jacobs and I actually have two of these I'm actually almost through a whole one and this just smells so good so summery lately uh, yeah. lately I've been getting a lot of compliments when I wear it um, and it just smells really good I would I would suggest going on hotlook.com or Zulily or a third party site to try to find this cheaper because it is kind of expensive. There are different sizes. So the next couple things that I'm going to be talking about is makeup related and I have two mascaras here that I want to put in the spotlight this month and actually like the past three months I would say almost. Um, I have been loving, loving, loving this duo. So. Actually, I I don't like wearing this mascara on its own. What I do is I put on this CoverGirl mascara. It is waterproof. I put this on first, let it dry, and then I top coat it with this one. And oh my gosh, it's like a miracle. I don't know. It's just, it's it's great. I don't I don't know why it's so great, but it's great. So this one is the CoverGirl So Lashy Blast Pro in waterproof formula, and this one is the Tartiest. Tart. Is that really what it's called? Okay, so I know it's kind of hard to see um, the name on the Tarte one, but basically just the black and gold one. I believe that they don't have any other packaging like this. Um, this is not in the waterproof formula. I actually tried it once while I was at Sephora or Ulta and it flaked off so badly um, and I had no other mascara on but I tried it on top of this waterproof one and this combo is just so great. So the next thing that I'm going to talk about is a YSL product and I've actually never used YSL before. This actually came in a Sephora kit that I got and I recently just started to use it. At first I was a little unsure, now I really like it. This is the YSL Touch Some classy word that I can't say, radiant touch, eclat, eclat, I don't know. It's to go under your eyes, it's an eye brightener. So what it is, is you take off the top, you pump it twice from the bottom, this pushes in, and the product comes through the top. I put it in a triangle right under my eyes here, I put it on my nose, on my forehead, 
and it just it's not too much but it's just enough I find the next two products that I'm gonna talk about are for your face so when I go tanning that day I usually wear this bare minerals naked skin and if it's like two days since I've gone I need to lighten up a little bit because this seems too dark for some reason I use this Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer to mix with it so this is the tinted moisturizer lightweight flawless coverage by Laura Mercier I have this I could never actually wear by itself this is pretty greasy for me at least so I I could never wear this by myself I'm a grease ball I would just it would just rub off. So I would definitely wear this bare skin by itself. A little goes such a long way. It's kind of the perfect color when I'm tanning. And this is in the shade Bare Satin. Oh yeah, I really like this foundation. I think I will probably purchase the full one once this one runs out. So I'm going to talk quickly about my last three products here. And it is all hair related. So the first one is from Orbe. And this one is called Bright Blonde Radiance Repair Treatment. So I recently just started trying this out. It comes out purple, and for blondes, you know, purple shampoo, conditioner, it's your friend. So this is a treatment that you do about one time per week in the shower. You can probably do it twice. Um, you do it in between your shampoo and your conditioning. So you shampoo, get your hair clean, and then you put this in all over your hair. It brings out the brassiness, makes it a little bit more blonde, and um, you leave it in your hair for about two to three minutes, and then you wash it out, and then you put your conditioner, and then you wash your conditioner out, and that's it. Um, I really, really like it, and for blondes, I would definitely recommend it. The second thing that I'm going to talk about is this hairspray, and I'm not a big hairspray person. Actually, I really try not to use hairspray. I don't know why. It's a personal preference, but I picked this one up from John Frieda. It is the Sheer Blonde Crystal Clear Hairspray for all blondes, and I love this stuff. I love it. Um, not to the point where like I am using it all the time, but I definitely don't mind using it. So sometimes when I do my hair for work, I'll put like a braid right here to try to make like, it look all fancy, so it'll be like a braid and then pulled back because I'm a bartender and a server. And um, sometimes I have little flyaways because of my layers, so I have to hairspray them down. This stuff is great. Um, it doesn't look hard. You know some hairspray makes your hair look hard. This one doesn't really make it look hard and uh, it's really great. Anyone else always lose their caps to their, to their cans because I always seem to lose the tops to my hair products. Like all my hair products, I don't think have, any of them really have tops to it. Not a bad thing. So the last thing, so the last thing that I'm going to talk about is this new straightener that I have, and this is from Amika, I believe is how you pronounce it, and it is a hairbrush straightener. And I've been wanting to try this for a really long time. Finally, I got it from my parents for my birthday, and I love it. So you basically you plug it in just like a straightener, and then you turn it on, and you can make the temperature as high or as low as you'd like. So, and you just brush through your hair and it straightens it. So what I found to be easiest, for me at least, I have really thick hair. I actually go from the bottom and I kind of make sure all my hair is in the brush and I slowly go down. And let me tell you, this is life changing. I mean, I love it. I recommend it to everybody who straightens their hair. Now, obviously, if you have curly hair, I don't really know how it's going to work. Uh, my hair sometimes gets wavy, and this has been really, really great. And that is actually it for my monthly favorites. Thank you for sticking around to the end. Again, don't forget to make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and follow me on all my social media. If you have any video requests, just leave them in the comments below or tell me on Instagram or Twitter and let me know there. Um, and yeah. Uh, until next time, bye!